Welcome. This afternoon I'm going to show you how to create vendors in EverLogic and how they get sent over to QuickBooks. So in this demonstration we are going to create a vendor, click on the vendor button in the company shared area on the system setup tab. Click on the new vendor button. It will bring up the vendor information form. Choose the vendor type. Based on the type that you choose, this is where it'll show up in certain drop-down uh, boxes in EverLogic. So if I want it to show up in the floor plan company box, I'm going to choose floor plan company. If I want it to show up as a supplier, I'll choose supplier. If I want it to be a warranty company, I'll choose warranty company. I'm going to choose floor plan company in this demonstration. We'll type in next gear, financial, and that's going to be my vendor. Now a new feature here is I'm going to add the terms, and this is pulling from QuickBooks. So if you have access to QuickBooks, you'll be able to pull terms. I'm going to choose floor plan as my terms. Put in a phone number for that vendor. And we put in their address. And we're going to save our changes. So that creates the vendor in EverLogic. To get that vendor to go over to QuickBooks, we had to have some sort of transaction. So I'm going to cr quickly create a transaction. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to just create a, a unit that we need to send to QuickBooks. So I'll pull up an existing unit. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to use that. I'm going to create a new one. We'll call it a coachman uh, three, four, five, six, seven. It's in stock. We'll say it's 2015. Let's say the cost on this is $10,000. And we'll go over to the administration tab. We'll choose next gear as our floor plan company. And then we'll give it a beginning balance. So this is giving us a transaction. So now we have a transaction we can send over to QuickBooks. So when your accounting department is ready to send that to QuickBooks, they click on your Office Operations tab, click on the List Unposted Stock button. Okay, we pull that up. So we're going to send this over to QuickBooks. Next gear financial with the terms floor plan already there. We click save. It's going to add next gear financial over to QuickBooks. And it creates the bill. So now we go over to go to QuickBooks, which I already have open, and I go into my vendor center. You can see that next gear financial has been created for us. And that's how you create a vendor in EverLogic and how you get it to send over to QuickBooks. Thank you for watching.